Welcome back to another episode, everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. All right, so in this video, we're gonna glue down some cork bed, make a frame, lay, uh, screw down some plywood, and get one step closer for getting Arcadia up and running again. Yeah, so I'm making a mess. Not even before I'm, I have the whole layout back together. <laughs> all right, so the whole idea was for this is uh, I ended up taking all these storage bins, all these bins that I had all my trains in from storage. Uh, I wanted to actually go through it, sort of do like an inventory check. And um, holy mac, I didn't, didn't realize how much stuff I had. Now, this bin I didn't completely empty. Um, where's the other one? Oh, there's another one over here that is almost empty. Then we have these ones over here and then we also have these here as well um, and then these two bins actually has the trains uh, it's mainly the bullet trains and then i think the bottom one actually has some tracks track packs anyway so yeah so just going over what i have and it's kind of a good thing because there's a couple of things that i need uh, so i have the elmer's glue water mix like a 50 50 50 mix I'm gonna have to buy another thing of um, Elmer's glue, like non-mixed. Uh, we got we got some tacky glue, got some more tacky glue, white glue, got spray bottles, got wood glue, alcohol right here. Um, da -da -da -da. And then we'll get empty bottles there for mixing. Um, no more nails. Uh, what's that? scenery right there got some more scenery blended turf uh, what do i got i have blended turf earth blend green blend then green grass then this one might be a mixture between these two then i have ballast and that's the one that i was using this is another type of ballast i don't know why i grabbed that but it is what it is and then hydrocal this company, I am now far away from, but this company right here, I'm just gonna plug them in, like solid. I hope, I haven't seen them in a long time. I'm gonna double check. I still, I'm hoping that they're still open, but this is where I used to get my supplies. Like I got my hydrocal from them and it was a lot cheaper than going with some of the other uh, model train name brand. And then as well as this stuff right here, look at the size of this of this casting i know that the price of one of the name brand train <laughs> the ones that they had and they're even smaller if you guys if you're in the toronto area and um, you want a good place to get your stuff honestly right there i'm plugging these guys in these guys were solid like i said i'm going to try to find out see if they're still open my fingers crossed they are coming over here we got some bridges my original layout that uh, I would like to incorporate maybe with the new section then we have an oil refinery uh, Bella's diner which apparently went through an earthquake and fell apart uh, let's see what else um, oh yeah still in the box brand new haven't opened it that's something definitely I want to do uh, ended up having a church and that one yeah silo and there's the coal plant lead a, a little bit of uh had a little bit of casualty over here the legs broke off i found them so i'll glue them back on uh, mika's castle with her dragon <laughs> I've, I've showed you guys before on how i glued the cork bed down so this video is going to just be like a time lapse of me working and just you know doing everything so in this video, we're just gonna try to check off the need to do list. All right, so let's go ahead, start the video.
as usual, it seems to be coming like a trend. Um, batteries are dying and I'm not even noticing it. Just might as well catch you up with what I did. There you go, there's a frame. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to recycle as much wood as I can to build what I need for this layout. So with that said, here is the framing that I did. Uh, here's my one by four. I had some leftover plywood from the last uh, project. Here is that plank that I was telling you about on both that side and as well as this side that I created two by fours. So this is one solid piece. And then what I ended up doing, I was like a half inch shy. So I decided to cut it in half and then use this uh, uh, half inch plywood that I had, this scrap piece to bring it together to make one piece of two by, what would it be? Be two and a half by four. <laughs> so screw that all together. Ended up screwing this to the wall, as you can see right there, two screws. And then I also screwed against uh, the that section and this section. And um, so now I do have leftover plywood. Uh, it's a little bit short in width wise. Uh, the plywood that I have is about 12 inches. And then this is actually 22 and a half or 22 and three quarters. <laughs> All right, we are gonna stop the video here. Uh, a lot of work is done. Uh, we got the cork bed gluing. We ended up making the new section here, the frame. We framed it with uh, whatever the material that I had. Also with the plywood, I did two sheets this way. And then I used, um, as I'll just show you my lines. Ply there's plywood underneath that I used and I screwed it up. I'm gonna put another rib, another two by four in here. So that way it gives it the extra strength. When I do get a chance to get out to my hardware store, I'll buy some styrofoam so that way I can do this section and also the section over there. Um, then we can start laying down more cork and track and actually connect everything together. So this is actually coming together really quickly, which I'm super stoked. But again, honestly, where we live, we're not exactly, we don't really have a Home Depot, Lowe's, or even an actual hardware store that has styrofoam nearby. Uh, we're a little in the country, <laughs> which I'm not complaining. So when I get out there, it won't be today. It may not be tomorrow. I don't know, maybe it might be next week. So, but yeah, anyways, when I get out there, definitely, that's what I'm gonna do. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, as always, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. That does help out the channel, as well as if this is the kind of thing you find entertaining, or that you enjoy watching uh, why don't you go ahead think about subscribing and if you do don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you are notified every time we release a video until the next time stay safe we'll see you then <music>